Hello, it's Thursday, June the 30th, 2011, and I'm Martin Smith with the Daily Outlook from UFX Bank. The dollar weakened against most major currencies as Greece's parliament approved a five-year austerity plan designed to avert the Eurozone's first sovereign debt default. Pending home sales came out better than expected at 8.2% versus 2.4% forecast. Wall Street closed positive as Nasdaq advanced by 0.41% and the Dow by 0.60%. Crude oil jumped by 2% due to a fall in the crude oil inventories index. This came out at minus 4.4 million versus minus 1.5 million forecast. Crude closed at $94.77 a barrel and gold advanced by 0.7% to close at one thousand five hundred and ten dollars and forty cents an ounce. Today unemployment claims are expected to weaken from four hundred and twenty nine thousand to four hundred and twenty thousand. The euro reached a two-week high against the dollar after Greek lawmakers approved a package of austerity measures, one hundred and twelve billion dollars amid 48-hour strikes and protests. Moreover, investors raise bets that the European Central Bank will increase interest rates next week after the passage of the austerity measures, giving the euro a positive momentum. The euro dollar's resistance is at 145.30 on the daily chart. Overall, the euro dollar traded with a low of 143.27 and a high of 144.48. The pound rose versus the dollar as Greece's austerity plan boosted investor appetite for higher yielding assets. As long as the pound dollar is trading below 161.20 and below the 20 moving average, the pound's momentum is still very bearish on the daily chart. Should the pair cross 161.20 then, the pound will probably hit 162 or even more. Overall, the pound dollar traded with a low of 159.70 and a high of 160.74. Today, nationwide HPI is expected to be 0.10% versus 0.30% prior. The yen strengthened against a weakening dollar owing to Greece's headline news, causing major currencies to drift the Japanese currency as well. The dollar yen has been struggling around 80.50, 81.20 levels during the past three days. Only if the pair breaks above 81.20 will the US dollar be bullish again. Overall, the dollar yen traded with a low of 80.56 and a high of 81.18. No economic data is expected today. Finally, the CAD. The Canadian dollar climbed the highest since December against the dollar after consumer prices rose more than forecast, prompting traders to ratchet up bets that the central bank will resume raising interest rates. CPI came out at 0.7% versus 0.2% forecast and caught CPI at 0.5% versus 0.2% forecast. As long as the pair is trading below 098 levels, the US dollar remains on a negative trend. Next support on the daily chart is at 096.50. Overall, the dollar CAD traded with a low of 0.9687 and a high of 0.9825. Today, GDP is expected to fall. Well, that's it from me. Be sure to visit us at UFX Bank for simple, safe, secure trading.